Could we be any more obsessed with friends? I mean, sure, we've always loved the show and were ready to throw down at a moment's notice whenever someone brought up the debate on whether Ross and Rachel were on a break or not. But the recent reunion really got us back to craving Central Perk coffee. We all have our favorite moments, but did you know that some of the funniest Friends jokes ever were unscripted? That's right, what are some of the most surprising improvised moments in one of TV's greatest sitcoms? Let's get into it right now. Okay. The Friends finale was bittersweet in a lot of ways. They're gonna really hate me over there. Yes, it was a touching send-off to our favorite group of New Yorkers, but also it was sad to see them go. This is harder than I thought it would be. Tears were shed as everybody said goodbye, but before they ventured off to the next chapter of their lives, they asked to get coffee together one last time. Chandler, who's a bit sarcastic if you didn't notice, said, Sure, where? As if they didn't already know. It was the perfect joke to end on, but if reports are to be believed, it wasn't in the script originally. It's rumored that Matthew Perry ad-libbed that line at the end, and it was so well received, they decided to keep it in. Comedy legends Billy Crystal and Robin Williams once dropped by Central Perk to invade our main character's personal space. Keep on scooching. But how do you write jokes for these icons? Well, the answer is you don't. Forget it. Being known for improvisation, as well as being famous, granted Crystal and Williams a blank check when it came to their scene. The show just let the two riff off each other and fill in the gaps, so to speak. The results were comic gold. Whatever happened to these two characters? Hey, I'm trying to have a private conversation about it. Well, given the conversation, I don't think they're friends anymore. Hey, accidents happen, right? It's not like Friends required a lot of dangerous stunt work or anything like that, but the show was known to put its characters in funny physical situations. In the one where no one's ready, Chandler and Joey battle over a chair. There's a scene of Joey diving to it in order to beat Chandler, and although he wins, it came with a cost. Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, what? Is. I don't want to skate. I don't want to see pain. Actor Matt LeBlanc actually dislocated his shoulder here, forcing him to wear a sling for a little while. Do you remember how it was written into the show? The show adapted to this change by explaining it as Joey hurt himself jumping on the bed, which is a totally Joey thing to do, right? In the season 7 episode, The One with the Truth About London, Ross is upset after Rachel teaches his son Ben some new pranks, and decides to turn the tables on her. In the end credit scene, Ross pulls a prank of his own that involves a dummy that looks like Ross falling down the stairs. It definitely shocks Rachel, but in reality, it probably shocked Jennifer Aniston more. They didn't tell Aniston that this would be the punchline, so it legitimately startled her. It's why they had to dub over her lines here with laughter, since she yelled out David Schwimmer's name in fear and shock. Chandler is always quick with a sarcastic comment. Hold on. There's something different. It's kind of his thing, and while he has had a few flubs over the years, he's usually on point. Which is why the moment where he says, wants his blue blazer black instead of blue blazer back is a little jarring. Of course, everyone then makes fun of him for it. Why would he want his blue blazer black? But originally, he wasn't supposed to mess up. It was a mistake, and the rest of the cast just went with it for a bit and made fun of him for doing it. Writers liked it so much, they rewrote the scene to keep his mistake in there. Paolo was Rachel's Italian boyfriend who immediately made things more complicated for the will-they-won't-they they relationship between Ross and Rachel. Paolo was handsome with a winning smile, but the show got a lot of mileage out of the language barrier. He doesn't speak much English. And whenever it came time for Paolo to speak, the writers just let the actor ad-lib mostly anything he wanted as they didn't want to write lines and then convert them to Italian. I wonder if he was able to sneak in anything inappropriate. You betcha. <laughs> One of Chandler's greatest lines is when he tells Joey, you have to stop the Q-tip when there's resistance. And it's a line I'm sure a lot of us have used on our friends from time to time. And just think, there's almost a world out there where we don't have this gem of a line in our lives. That's right, the line was improvised by Matthew Perry, and of course everyone liked it so much it stayed in. It just shows again how Matthew Perry was so in tune with his Chandler character. When you're busy making over a billion dollars, who has time to sit and memorize lines? Not Richard Branson, obviously. The billionaire was one of the many famous guest stars on Friends and plays a Londoner who's trying to sell souvenirs to Joey and Chandler. But as it turns out, Branson actually didn't have the time to learn any of his actual lines, so the scene he's in is mostly improv. Sure, it's not like he had pages and pages of dialogue and his only job was to try to sell Joey a hat, but still, I think that's kind of impressive. 
You hear that, Richard Branson? I gave you a compliment. Now, uh, hold on one sec as I get you my Venmo details. And I just want a million dollars. Chandler found himself in quite a few awkward predicaments over the course of the show, but one of the biggest was finding himself handcuffed to Rachel's boss's file cabinet and begging Rachel to let him go. There's a really funny moment when Chandler is talking and he accidentally swings the file cabinet drawer forward, smacking him in the back of the head. His pain and Rachel's shocked face is genuine, as this was an accident. Good things these pros were able to keep it together to finish the scene. Sometimes, when a line doesn't work, it's better to workshop it to find something else. After Ross and Rachel get drunkenly married, Ross fights to keep them together so he won't have three failed marriages under his belt. Okay, see now I'm scared because I don't actually think you're kidding. As they talk and Ross continues to push things, Rachel says this isn't a marriage, this is the world's worst hangover. The original joke dealt with her telling Ross to stop saying the word marriage, but it just wasn't landing properly. And Jennifer Aniston was the one who ad-libbed this new line to the delight of the audience. Glad they went with that one. You know what's even better than ad-libbed lines? Bloopers. If you haven't seen it already, you have to check out Matthew Perry and Jennifer Aniston completely losing it over Pivot. Trust me, it'll make your day. <laughs>